guys what's up i hope you're doing fine this is just a video that explains some of my mnemonics for a few of our tumor markers all right so here you can see we have ca125 and ca153 which are sometimes um very confusing because they start uh with number one and so we will look at the last number for each and i think of number five as a woman who's pregnant and so we can associate it with ovarian cancer right so if, when you make a five like that right uh, the bump of the number five can be the uh, thought of letter o for ovarian well this number three here is um supposedly a breast <laughs> so you can imagine that being a breast and if you can't imagine maybe you can draw some small circles here to imagine it more <laughs> or maybe if you're wholesome right <laughs> you can make this number three into a letter b by adding a slash there or a straight line there to make it into letter b as in breast okay so ca125 for ovarian and ca153 for the breast cancer we have ca19-9 and 72-4 so, uh, 19-9 has number 9 and when you flip number 9 make it into a mirror image uh, make it the other way around it turns into letter P which is uh, you can make it uh, to remember that it is for the pancreatic cancer then you have 72-4 here I remember this by using the first number 7 and I sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G number seven and letter g <laughs> g for gastric cancer and we have here cea carcino embryonic antigen for the colon cancer so you can just associate letter c there for c here so cea is for colon cancer and then we have afp now the way i remember this, this is when i was an intern uh no um going internship for we were required to a uh look for a liver specimen and some of my classmates got the liver specimen from their friends from afp so uh, i usually remember the afp alpha feta protein as a liver cancer marker but here uh, i remember this afp as the armed forces of the philippines where we got our liver specimen back then we have PSA and ACP. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen and ACP is for acid phosphatase. Both of these substances contain letter P in their names and so we can associate that with letter P gland for the male's prostate cancer. And then you have beta-HCG, beta, -HCG, beta um, human chorionic gonadotropin. When um, this is requested from male patients, patients who are men, then it will mean a testicular cancer and to remember that maybe we can think of the letter b as bet log <laughs> no malice it's just for us to remember that it is um, used as a tumor marker for testicular cancer in men but for women for female patients when this substance is increased we can use the three letters in this substance to remember the three conditions such as h for high td4 mole C for choriocarcinoma, G for gestational thromboblastic tumor. You have calcitonin, uh, the hormone produced by the thyroid gland, the C cells or the parafollicular cells of the thyroid gland. To remember it as a tumor marker for medullary thyroid carcinoma. Okay, HER2 new is the uh, marker for breast cancer. So you can just remember this is for the breast because her refers to women okay a uh, certain patient a female patient no, me, wanted the two new breasts <laughs> so you can remember this antigen for breast cancer by saying her two breasts look new okay and lastly this is nmp22 it's nuclear matrix protein 22 this is used for urinary bladder cancer and so we can just make something out of this NMP here so that we can remember it's for the bladder. Um, it's actually a nuclear matrix protein, but we can remember this NMP as not my pantog. <laughs> because we don't want our pantogs to have a cancer, right? And yeah, that's it. Hopefully. So
uh, you will remember as long as you are living <laughs> so that it can help you for your studying purposes for whatever exams you are taking if ever i come up with new ones then i will just make a new video and thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe and like the video if you liked it and uh, thank you for your support see you in my next videos god loves